Hello there, it is I, the Geordie Nerd, and I am back again with another episode of Archer, Season 8, Episode 2. We are in Dreamland. I uh, didn't know what to make of it the first episode, but I am on board now. Um, if you'd like to see the full, unedited reaction, the link is down below for the Patreon. And all my other social media links. Let's just get into this now, and have some fun. There's a bit of a pause there, wasn't it, before I said, and have some fun. Pro oh, William Shatner, there's got to be a way. Anyway, moving... Shut up, Paul. Yep. So, what are we doing? Are we just jumping right into this? Or. Not literally! No! You <laughs> you <laughs> uh, stop it! What is your. Ow! I would like a drink, please. Oh, join this great new club. Brandy, if you have it. Fresh out, turns out. You mean she doesn't want to be murdered straight away? And from the last episode, she was like, I, want, like, I would like you to kill me, please, Archer. In, in exactly this voice. I don't know why I'm doing it, but that's the voice you were doing. My partner was murdered, my office was burgled, I pissed off two crime bosses and a dirty cop, and crushed the ankles of a psychopath who, just for kicks, melts people. So yeah, it was, to be fair, a pretty long-ass day. $10,000. Oh. And my body. The ten grand is plenty. I'm afraid this is non-negotiable. Do your worst. <laughs> I will. She is literally still Carol. I love it. Cheryl, Daryl, Mick, whatever she's called. They murder their parents and blame it on some poor Hispanic or Negro. Yes, I thought about that, but I don't know any Hispanics or Negroes. No, they make up the Hispanic or Negro. I honestly wouldn't know where to begin. Uh, okay, but boy, these are good. Mm. That is very, very sad, but sadly, also very, very true of the time back then, yes. But putting aside for now why you'd want to fake your own death. Because I have to get away from my family. They're a seething cauldron of neurotic, alcoholic, narcissistic, quasi-incestuous megalomaniacs. And also, they, they, they make their own bread. I don't know, I just want to add something weird in there as well. <laughs> I'm contributing. <laughs> I'm lonely, right? I'm lonely. I've got no friends. <laughs> Who is that? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, obviously she's a maid. Really? I just don't know her name because... She's a maid? Obviously. And you are a terrible, terrible person. Yes, we know. The... In the stables. Ah. Uh. But... Want to know the best part? <laughs> that wasn't it. Look! What are your... Oh, no, don't. Not one cat. Since when and how do you know that? Don't you see? Her teeth are perfect. My teeth are perfect. Ergo, this plan is perfect. Yes, def. Yeah. I mean, what are you gonna do? Pull her teeth out and put them in your mouth and put yours in hers? I, I don't. What, what's going on here? Um, how does that bring them closure? Uh, it comes with a note saying she's dead. Look, nothing we can do will bring this poor girl back to life. I know, but not even a voodoo priestess flown here from Haiti at great expense, and then every year on Grandma's birthday they throw it in your face. That bit sounded kind of personal, but yeah, at least our family gets closure. Do you know what I mean? She dead. Ten grand. Problem solved. What in God's name are you doing? <laughs> Scrooching down. Well, stop it. Stop that this instant. You st shut up. I don't want anybody in Dreamland to see me. Well, I don't want anyone to see me being <laughs> chauffeured by a dwarf. <laughs> yeah, then we have to find a dead dwarf and a tiny chauffeur uniform. Yes, exactly. And that just sounds like a fucking ball ache. <laughs> there he is. Huh? Now listen. Shut up and listen to me, okay? Because I know... <laughs> I know this isn't, you know, ideal. But you gotta pull yourself together. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. That was a poor choice of words. But for Christ's sake, man, there's two dead men walking around there who stole from me. Yeah, but he's also missing some feet. Your feet. And you are gonna find them, and you are gonna bring them to me, and then I'm gonna make them wish they were in hell with a case of the clap. How can I? They took my feet, Lenny. They took my feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Ow. Shut up. To quote Ricky, stitch yourself together. Well, now you're just being obtuse. I'm being obtuse. Yes. As opposed to you, who wants to parade a corpse through a hotel lobby just so you can dress her in your room? Well, I'd hardly call this a parade. Oh, good morning, Miss Vanderton. 
I mean, she's just really pale and really drunk, okay? She's she's an albino who's dyed her hair. There you go. Fucking smart, man. If any, if any of you have done a may that and you need help, don't come here. Seriously. Just phone the police, admit to it, and go to prison, okay? Don't come to my door with corpses. I promise you I will not help. I'm fucking too lazy for that shit. I'm, I'm not burying a body, like. I'm not digging a fucking grip. Six feet! No. You're on your own. <laughs> we'll use this one. No, no, no. That, that one's good. No, Let's... this one. No. We are not going through a revolving door with Bernice. But it wastes so much less air conditioning than a regular door. The regular door is wide ass open. All right. Well, then what's the point? You are literally wasting it by talking. Just go through the fucking door. Honestly, I don't know why you're so angry. Which I think is why I'm so angry. <laughs> and I can see why you would. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, shit. Okay, I gotta go to work, but I'll be back tonight. And when I get back, I wouldn't mind if the place smelled like lemon pledge and orange chicken. Mmm, maybe Chinatown? Oh, yeah. Hey, and while we're at it, why not regular China? Or maybe Sarcastic Island off the coast of That Was Uncalled For. Hey, will you shut that, up? That, that was Gladly. uncalled for. And then ask your... That, that was hurtful. I love Palm's hair. I don't know if I mentioned it in the last one. I don't know why I'm playing on my hair when I say it, but, uh, yeah, my hair's a fucking mess. Made it worse, but it's fine. It's acceptable. Whatever. Who cares, really? No one. But yeah, I love Pam's head. I, lo I love the style. The suit is working as well. She very, very pretty. <laughs> You've clearly never been to a rodeo. Must you rob this poor girl of her very last shred of dignity? You did that. You did that when you stuffed her in the trunk of your Rolls Royce, you spoiled little... Oh. I was just about to say she's going to be fucking moist now. <laughs> so... <laughs> Why did someone murder your partner? That's what I'm trying to find out. Oh, fucking hell, this is a really funny episode. Oh, come now, don't be such a pout. I think getting Bernice through the lobby went about as well as could reasonably be expected. <clears throat> Sorry. Besides Yes, nail nailed it. I mean, nobody noticed the dead body, so I suppose he is dead. Move, dick. Slang for detective, so not an insult. What is insulting is that you've kept me waiting for ten hours. Hi, sorry, I've had a busy day. I'll bet. I've had quite a busy day myself, trying to shut down rumors I had anything to do with that bloodbath down in Long Beach. I wouldn't say bloodbath. Although, now that I come to think of it, the easiest thing would be to just tell Len Trexler it was you. That would be pretty easy. Yeah, but also it was kind of your idea, so how about you don't? Let's not and say we did, yeah? And? And, well, I mean, it's just not many people knew I wouldn't be there. In your office? Late at night. Yes. And? And uh, I will see you at midnight. Midnight, though. Midnight. Jesus Christ. I'm getting old, mate. I want to be in bed by seven. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, well, okay, I've had me tea. It's time for sleep. I mean, obviously, I don't. But still, midnight. Uh, meeting someone at midnight. It's not happening, like. I couldn't do it. I'd, I'm in bed at midnight, okay? I mean, I'm not asleep, but I'm in bed. Also, I think we're being followed. What? We're not being followed. There aren't any headlights back there. I think their headlights are off. No, they're not, because it's pitch dark, and we're not being followed. I think we're being followed. We're not being followed! And also, how have you not been murdered? So, are they being followed? I'm kind of curious to know now. Sorry, Bernice. Won't be long. Okay. So I'm going to soak the upholstery with gas, set a 20-second cordite fuse, then we'll put Bernice in the driver's seat, jam a rock on the accelerator, light the fuse, and then slam it into- Oh, Archer, I'm 30% sure you are being followed. God damn it. Hello. Oh, well, I am excited to find out what happens next, but I- Considering that dirty cops, I'm pretty sure they're just gonna let him get away with it, do what he wants. But I guess we'll find out. This was hilarious. This was a very funny episode. 
and it was definitely better than the first. Uh, the first was great, but I was more focused on like the setting, and I was quite shocked. Uh, I'm excited to see the narrative go what the way it goes to find out uh, Woodhouse's killer. And I am excited to continue on to the next episode. So, thank you as ever for your support. If you're new, drop a like and subscribe. And I shall see you all again very soon for more Archer reaction videos.